two men on the floating boat run in succession along its length with a speed of 4.2 meter per second relating to the boat and die off from the end the weight of each man is 800 newton and that of boat is 400 4000 newton the boat was initially at rest find the final velocity of the boat neglect friction so we have a boat and there are two person the first person will come and jump as soon as the person will jump does he give the momentum to the boat so momentum will uh, body will go to the this side then second person jumps then because of this one is the boat is again move this side it means that is the momentum of mass is equal to momentum of boat that is what law of conservation of momentum so momentum lost of a boat that is called as law of conservation of momentum if m1 is the mass of person velocity is u1 second person has mass m2 velocity is u2 m is the mass of the boat and v is the velocity of the boat initial velocity was zero so what is the mass of first person is a 800 newton so divided by 9.81 with what velocity he jumps 4.2 mass of second person is also 800 by 9.81 with what velocity he jumps 4.2 what is the mass of boat 4000 divided by 9.81 multiplied by v 9.81 is cancel and can we find out the velocity of boat If you solve this, you will get velocity of boat is 1.64 meters per second. A cue strikes a billiard ball. So we have a billiard ball here. We have a cue here. It strikes on it. As soon as it strikes, it will develop the force. The exerting force on average force of what? 50 newton. So it exerting a force equals to what? 50 newton. Over a time of what? 10 milliseconds. So over a time. It does it means that is it a time of impact? 10 millisecond is 10 to the power minus 3 seconds. What was the mass of the ball? The mass of the ball is 0.2 kg. The initial velocity of the ball is zero because stationary. We want to find out the speed it has after impact. That is v equals to what? So is it a simple problem of impact? So what is force? Force is equals to what? Mass into acceleration. but can we write acceleration equals to delta v divided by time so is force equals to mass multiplied by final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time of impact our force is 50 mass is 0.2 final velocity we don't know initially is 0 divided by 10 to the power minus 3 seconds so we can very well find out the velocity of the ball which may come out to be 2.5 meter per second uh, this is 10 millisecond so 10 millisecond then your answer will come 2.5 10 millisecond 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 two spherical balls a and b are traveling on a horizontal line with a velocity of 10 meter per second and 4 meter per second so let's show ball a and let's show ball b say this one is velocity u1 equals to 10 meter per second and this one is u2 velocity equal to 4 meter per second they are traveling from left to right the initial distance between these two blocks is 30 meters the ball collide at this point and t what is the distance traveled by a the distance traveled by b correct if they want to collide then according to this figure s1 equals to s2 plus 30 if that is true is the collision is possible 
and right now they are in collision position. So this one is right. So we assume acceleration equals to what? Zero. If acceleration equals to zero, then S equals to given by U T plus half A T square. But the second term is equal to what? Zero. So S equals to what? U T. So is this term is equals to U1 multiplied by T. And this equals to what? U2 multiplied by T. S1 must equals to S2 plus 30. But what is S1? S1 is U1T. So is U2T plus 30. What is U1? U1 is 10. What is U2? A is 4. Means 60 equals to 30. Means T equals to 5. Means after 5 seconds, impact takes place. So after 5 seconds. Whereas impact lasts for 0 0.02 seconds. This was a different idea. How much time the body A is in contact with the body B? Point. How much time the body A requires to cover and make an impact to body B equal to what? 5 seconds. This one different idea. He has also asked you where they will collide. So can we calculate S1 distance? Where is S1? So we can calculate S1. S1 equals to U1T. U1 is 10. T is 10. So after 5 meters, will the collision take place? So this situation demonstrate before impact. To so just check two conditions, just and after. This one is body A. This one is body B. Body A, body B. We will call this is M1. What is the mass of body 1? Is it 30 Newton? What is the mass of body number 2? 150 Newton. 150 divided by 9.81 new kg. What is the velocity of body number 1? Before impact. 10 meter per second. What is the body, initial velocity of body number 2? is 4 meter per second. What we don't know is the final velocity of body number 1 and final velocity of body number 2. In addition to this, is the coefficient is given to you. What is the value of E given to us? 0.5 and is the time of impact is also given to us. Is 0 0.02 seconds. We want to find out their velocity after impact. So we want to find out V1, we want to find out, so we want to find out F also. First of all, I will apply law of conservation of momentum. According to law of conservation of momentum, initial momentum M1 U1 plus M2 U2 must equals to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. All the masses term are having 9.81 common. So there is no point in writing here because that is get cancelled on both sides. T into 10. 150 into 4. 30. V1. 150. V2. So my answer is 30 V1 plus 150 V2. This one is 300 and this one is 600. Is it 900? 1. Restitution. What is the velocity of separation V2 minus V1? What is the velocity of approach U1 minus U2? Is 0.5. Is V2 minus V1 divided by 10 minus 4. So is this term is V2 minus V1, 10 minus 4 is 6, multiplied by 0 0.5 is 3. Then as like this, minus V1 
plus V2 is equals to 3. This is my second equation. These two simultaneous equations you can solve on calcium. Last one, we want to find out force. So force is given by mass into acceleration. Our mass equals to V1 minus U1 divided by time of impact. But remember to take modulus sign. So this one is M1 now. V2 minus U2 divided by time of impact. You can solve any equation. So if I, now M1 this time is 30 divided by 9.81. Modulus of V1. What is V1? Minus U1. 10 divided by time of impact 0 0.02 this one is 30 this is positive sign 7.5 9.81 into 0.02 0.2 newton in this question we have given the three balls ball A, ball B and ball C and their weights are given they are moving in a same direction all balls are moving in same direction with a velocity of 12, 4, 2. Naturally their velocities are different. So combined collision is not possible. In that case the velocity of A is higher than B. So first A will strike to B. Then whoever, whoever has a higher velocity that will strike the ball C. Is it correct? So let's first assume that we have a collision of A and B. And then we'll go for the collision of B and C. So right, as you take collision of A and B. This one is A. This one is B. This one is A. And this one is B. Before impact, after impact. So we'll call this one is A. We call this one is B. This one is A. This one is B. I will call this one is M1. M1 equals to what? 20 Newton. So I write 20 Newton divided by 9.81. M2 is 60 Newton divided by 9.81. What was the initial velocity of ball A? I will call U1 equals to what? 12. And this velocity equals to U2 equals to 4 meter per second. This is the final velocity I will call as V1. This is the final velocity of this ball equals to what? V2. Right now C will not come in picture. Because we have only considered collision of A and B. And it is given that the coefficient of restriction equals to what? Point it. So let's first apply law of conservation of momentum. So by law of conservation of momentum. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 now again 9.81 is get cancelled throughout so i will simply write 20 multiplied by 12 plus 60 multiplied by 4 equal to 20 v1 plus 60 v2 so I think we can very well cancel 20 throughout. 20, 20 and this equals to what? 3 and this also equals to what? 3. We can do this. So what do we get? V1 plus thrice of V2. Is it equal to 24? Is it 
this is 12 and this one is also 12 if the number is 24 next I can apply law of con uh, sorry coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution is pointed given to you what is the velocity of separation v2 minus v1 and what is the what is the velocity of approach u1 minus u2 so point it v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2 is 12 minus 4 12 minus 4 is 8 8 into 8 is 6.4 so do you have minus v1 plus v2 equal to 6.4 this is my equation